Simona Halep being banned officially until 2026, four years after being first provisionally suspended back in October of last year. Let's go have a read of what Simona Halep had to say in response to the ban. So this is what she had to say in a statement over on Twitter. Today, a tribunal under the Tennis Anti-Doping Program announced a tentative decision in my case. The last year has been the hardest match of my life, and unfortunately, my fight continues. I have devoted my life to the beautiful game of tennis. I take the rules that govern our sport very seriously and take pride in the fact I have never knowingly or intentionally use any prohibited substance. I refuse to accept the decision of a four-year ban. In a 126-page report, the tribunal found that I committed both charges brought by the International Tennis Integrity Agency, the ITIA, an in-competition positive urine sample for a prohibited substance and a breach of the Athlete Biological Passport Program. My representatives and I presented the ITIA and the tribunal with compelling evidence in support of my defense, including multiple legitimate questions regarding the conclusion reached around the athlete biological passport, the ABP, testing. While I'm grateful to finally have an outcome following numerous unfounded delays and a feeling of living in purgatory for over a year, I'm both shocked and disappointed by their decision. I believe in a clean sport and in almost two decades as a professional athlete through hundreds of tournaments and two Grand Slam titles, I have taken 200 blood and urine tests to check for prohibited substances, all of which have come back clean until the August 29, 2022. Ahead of the hard court season in 2022, upon on recommendation from my trusted team and physiotherapist, I adjusted my nutritional supplements. None of the listed ingredients included any prohibited substances. However, we now know, and the tribunal agreed, one of them was contaminated with roxadaster. I was tested almost weekly after my initial positive test through early 2023, all of which came back negative. Despite this evidence, the ITIA bought an ABP charge only after its expert group learned my identity, causing two out of three to suddenly change change their opinion in favor of ITIA's allegations. The ITIA relied solely on the opinions of these experts who only looked at my blood parameters, which I've maintained for more than 10 years in the same range. This group ignored the fact no prohibited substance had been found in my blood or urine samples with the sole exception of one, August 29, positive for roxadustat, which was present at an extremely low level and which when considering my negative test three days prior could only have been caused by accidental exposure to roxadustat. To dust at. I'm eternally grateful for the outpouring of support I have received from my family, friends, and tennis fans around the world. I'm continuing to train and do everything in my power to clear my name of these false allegations and return to the court. I intend to appeal this decision to the Court of Arbitration for Sport and pursue all legal remedies against the supplement company in question. So there you go, a massive statement there for Simona Halep, kind of clearing up the situation from her point of view how she sees it and what's happened from her side of things and how she feels about the situation. Of course, not happy at all with this four-year ban. Of course, it's going to be a four-year ban, including the last 12 months, so four years from last October when she was first given the provisional suspension up until 2026. She's going to be 34 by the time that expires and she'll be back maybe by then. But of course, she can appeal. That's what they said in the statement. If you go watch the other video, you'll, you'll know that in the uh, ITIA statement, there is an appeal that she can go for. So it looks like she's going to go with that and try and fight to get back a little bit sooner. But let me know in the comments below. What do you think of Halep's statement? Do you believe her? I mean, that's probably the question. Do you believe that it was unintentional? I mean, there was a lot of changes that happened with Simona Halep, and she mentioned there with a change of supplements and a change of nutrition from a trusted team. She did get a whole new team uh, sort of mid last year and with, with really good results, you know, winning Canada the week before the US Open, and, you know, maybe something did go wrong. Maybe there was some miscommunication there. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this situation? And do you think Halep will get back to the court earlier than 2026? But she has been banned until 2026, which is going to appeal this and try and get back on court sooner.